Hi everyone. I wanted to give a quick update on the bushel gourd post that I made the other day. Um, let me flip you around and show you what we got. So this is my volunteer bushel gourd uh, garden, I guess let's call it. And um, as you can see, just in the last few days, um, my little babies have turned into much bigger babies. Um, so I've got, you can see there's another one hiding up underneath there. Here's one on top of the leaf. Um, we've got, these are male blooms. And if you don't know the difference between a male and a female bloom, um, if you look at this bloom right here, there is, uh, if you'll look right there in the middle of the screen, right under the bloom, um, there is no, uh, there is no gourd attached to this one. Now, if you look at this one, this is a female bloom. The females carry the, the gourds at the bottom and, um, the male, the, your pollinators will take and from the male plant and pollinate the female. So we've not had any pollinator issues. So I'm, I'm assuming that all of the, all of the ones on there will get pollinated. Um, here is, here's another one here and another good sized one here. Now I've heard, I mean, this is already a pretty heavy gourd. Um, I've heard that these can get up to a hundred pounds. Um, these leaves, it's just hard to explain how big and soft, um, these leaves are. I don't know if you can tell that. And they are still growing, still running. And down here we have many more. There's one, two, three, four more growing. Um, so I think it's going to be, I think we're going to have plenty of gourds uh, from the gourd garden that I didn't even plant. Um, these tendrils can run up to, I think, 15 foot long. And so when you plant them, you definitely want to give them uh, lots of space to sprawl. I'm not sure how many plants are here. Um, I don't know, since they all just popped up and I didn't plant them. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot, I think. <laughs> So here's uh, one of my gourds from last year, um, and you can see this one has, uh, it's a little bit, it's long. Um, it needs to be bleached and cleaned, but uh, this one was actually uh, dried in the shed. So um, you can hear, you can hear the, the seeds rolling around in there. So that means, you know, it's completely dry. Uh, some of the bigger ones will take um, six plus months to dry out. Um, and so you just want to be sure to have them in a, in a cool, dry place with, with good circulation. Um, if you have the time, you can turn them. <laughs> I didn't have the time. And they, dry, they dried fine, but um, it's what they suggest. Uh, this one which I took the top off because I was getting the seeds out. This one had a much more uh, round um, shape to it. Um, and if you can see, here's the all the seeds in it. And so I've got a couple. I don't know how many seeds are in here, but it is a whole, whole lot. So in my post the other day, um, I had offered if anyone would like to grow them to let me know. Um, my, my love of gardening came from my mom. Um, she liked to grow things on the porch and um, it was a gift I was given and I like to pass that gift along. You know, I like to, you know, maybe give people cuttings or seeds when I can. So if, um, 
if bushel gourds are something you'd be interested in growing and you have the room, you really have to have the room to grow these. Um, they will go everywhere. As you can see, they grow like a pumpkin. Um, but if you're interested, I do have plenty of seeds. So uh, just send me, if you're local to me, then um, just let me know and I'll get seeds to you. If you're not local to me, um, if you will message me, I will send you uh, an address and you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will send you some seeds back. Um, and, and I hope that other people can enjoy watching these grow like I did. Um, it's just a cool plant. It's a cool plant to watch grow. So, um, and you know, you know the saying, to, to make a garden or to plant a seed is to believe in tomorrow. So, um, I hope that everyone plants a seed wherever you're at today.